Hey folks, I'm Tim Jenis. I am the timpanist of the Boston Symphony, and I am going to talk about the timpani grip and how to hold the stick. I'll have a series of videos for the next week since uh, we are all relegated to our homes, and I will show you how to hold the stick, and then you will be able to play the timpani just like me. All right. So, when holding the timpani stick, you want to make sure that you're in the right balance point. If you hold the stick too far this way, it's not going to really have any weight on this end. You need some weight to throw down to the head. If you hold it too far at the end of the stick, like here, it's not going to bounce. It's going to, it's going to die really quickly. So here, much. Here, far back. The correct spot is going to be about your thumb and your index, uh, your where your fulcrum is, where you hold the stick, where the stick pivots. It's going to be probably around four inches from the end. So you'll see about that much coming off of the edge of your hand. So what you want to do is find that balance point and. Uh, once you have that, you want to put the stick in what I do is I put it on the last joint of my third finger and then I put my thumb so that the pivot is between those two fingers, okay? The index finger then curves around and just adds a little bit of support so the stick moves this way, right? Um, the back fingers, all these fingers, we don't want to squeeze the stick so that we're holding it this way. That way the stick doesn't, can't move in the hand. So we want to back off those fingers and allow the stick to move. So if you get the thumb and the index finger just right, when you open your fingers, the stick will sort of pop up on its own without you, I'm not lifting my wrist at all, I'm just opening my fingers and the stick kind of comes up. So that way when we play, it's always in the up position and we can throw it down, it helps to pop it back up. Um, having a good weighted stick uh, helps as well. If the stick is too light or too heavy, it can deter on that. So um, uh, the sticks that I make are weighted in such a way that the balance is, um, works for the player. So um, we open our hand, we allow the stick to pivot in this way. And then at that point, when you're actually um, hitting the drum, um, you wanna hit the drum about mm, two or three inches from the rim, from the very edge right here. If you hit it too far in the middle, it's a little thuddy sounding. If you hit it too far in the edge, really kind of a uh, transparent uh, thin sound but right in the sweet spot it's a nice sound so um, as far as get the balance point get the grip open the fingers and at that point all you're gonna do is throw the weight of this part of the mallet you're gonna throw it through the head right you're gonna let the head shoot it back up as much as you can Not this. So I'm just talking about a general stroke here. Generally, we want to allow the stick to rebound on its own. If we want to firm up the sound, we can firm up our grip a little bit. It's a little bit more of a uh, sharper sound. Um, and if we want to loosen it up, we, we loosen the grip. Bigger muscle, smaller muscles are faster, bigger muscles are slower. Okay? But basically this is just about the grip. So if anything, you want to just make sure that you're allowing the stick to breathe back here. Okay? You don't want to squeeze the stick and, and choke it off. And that's all there is to it. That's the timpani grip. Thanks.